Wood die match brings together the men affectionately known as the Rat and Squirter. Each has close ties with both clubs. Peter McQuirter was nurtured by Brothers Juniors, transferring to Valleys in 1975. Four years later, the 5'8 was in Ross Strudwick's successful grand final team. After breaking his cheekbone in the 1980 semi, McQuirter decided to swap his football jersey for the latest fashion. In his role as a manufacturer's agent, it's not surprising the mustachioed McQuirter is Brisbane's best-dressed league coach. Well, I've got uh, good reason to be. You know, my uh, livelihood depends on my business, which is in the menswear field, not on rugby league coaching. This is his second year as A-grade coach, and he's one who has no hesitation in applying his business principles to coaching. All the time. All the time. And what's the main theme there? Consistency. I think Peter McWhorter is a really good uh, exponent of the game and uh, he uses a lot of drills where a lot of, lot of other coaches wouldn't use. Uh, that's probably why Valleys are in the fall. Strudwick came from Sydney 13 years ago and spent 12 of those with the diehards until he transferred to Brothers. It's been a trying year for the man they call the Rat. There was a highly publicised court case, he was cleared and the team lost its way several times. Now they're in the semis. And this week, Struddy and family pet JJ certainly meant business. We'll just do one for the cameras, just so that Squirter knows we know what he's going to do. Yeah. Okay? So on Sunday, the coach of Brothers will send out a team to knock out the club which established him in Brisbane. After the game, will Ross and Peter have a beer? Certainly, certainly. I hope it's I'm shouting. <laughs> but only one will be smiling. Not like 19... 19... Peter McQuirter of Valleys.